So tell me about your project. They We're all skateboarders or longboarders of some kind, and we really wanted to make something new. And the green is what tells you when to squeeze and when not to squeeze. We are so excited for Showcase 2022 to be back in person. This year, my senior design team worked on a project, large-scale surface morphing for fixed-wing drones. Our project was to produce Jet A1 fuel um, made of green hydrogen, which means that we do not produce any carbon dioxide emissions. This is the Grass Slasher 4000. It's a fully autonomous, real-style lawnmower. The last time we were able to do this was 2019. And I can tell you, we are ready. The judges are ready, the students are ready. Everyone who has walked into this space today has said they are so thrilled to be back in person. It moves left, right, up, down, and in a circular motion, so you can move all around the operating table. Here in this room, we have hundreds of young engineering trainees showing off their work. What they do with these projects is identify some kind of real world challenge and they solve that problem. They're learning to be engineers as they're earning their engineering degrees. And there's nothing better than showing off the fruits of their labor. Um, and I can tell you, they have labored. Having someone just like that has the real world experience about the problem that we're trying to address is just extremely helpful and something that I'm really grateful for. It's awesome, it's a celebration, It's energetic it's it's an amazing experience you get to learn about all the cool things that you know everybody here on campus is doing and also you get to show the work that you've been doing it's impressive and a little humbling uh, that all these young undergrads are doing such amazing stuff and, and I'm jealous because there weren't those type of resources when I was a young man or mentors to get people doing that and I think these are going to be the technical leaders of the future some of the projects I've seen around here I'm just blown away that these are done by undergrads. We're sponsored by the Department of Defense. We're, uh, we're part of a larger initiative here at Rice that is developing a 3D printed carbon fiber helmet. We are part of the project that's just developing the technology involved. Senior design is basically like a lot of our like most demanding thing that we do during senior year. Um, it's really the culmination of like all the things we've like learned and all the classes we've taken up to this point and really being able to put all of that theoretical knowledge really into practice. It was challenging but very fun especially because I mean my teammates are awesome you know they're all really intelligent and hardworking. At the beginning I wasn't really sure uh, how far we would be able to get in terms of implementation but I think um, seeing what we have now um, and all the work that we put in um, it was a lot of fun kind of figuring out uh, what we can do and how far we could get. Woods Leaser Innovation Award for Excellence in Engineering Design. It's considered our first place for Engineering Design Award. It's for $5,000 and it goes to... Bread Boys. We, we pretty much spent like almost every single late night the past two weeks building this board, making sure that it works. Um, actually last night, like, it, it stopped working. We had to rewire a lot of stuff. We expected to like finally go to bed at like midnight, but we went to bed at like 5 a.m. again. Um, but yeah, everything worked out in the end. Everything was good for showcase, uh, and we were super excited to like finally get the dub. It was inspired when I was a freshman. If I never got on my electric board, I never would have come up with this idea. I'm super excited for that. Um, all the hard work's really paid off. As a freshman, I had no idea I could do any of this, and like now I'm about to graduate. And it's been super exciting.